Hello again and welcome back to the test garden. This container that we planted up back in October is kind of at, its end, at, at the end of its life and we're just about two weeks um, shy of Thanksgiving. Um, but believe it or not, as, as we mentioned before, there's, there are still a few things in here that we can salvage um, for the next growing season. So what I'm gonna do first is take out some of the dead stuff and look at plants like this home flower and tidy these up pull them out of the pot and get them ready to plant in the ground. After digging through the container and seeing what was left over, we actually have a few nice candidates to go in the ground. We've got an echinacea, a penicetum grass, and a rubecchia. And then we're gonna try these sedges too. Sometimes they're marginally hardy here in Iowa, but we're gonna tuck them in the ground and see what they do for next spring. So we found a spot in the garden to plant this coneflower that we pulled out of our fall container earlier. Um, and there's just a couple things to remember whenever you're planting perennials, no matter if it's in the fall or the spring. First of all, it's a good idea to water down the area a couple days before. Um, luckily, we got some rain earlier this week, so we didn't have to do that. You're going to start with a hole that's about twice as wide, but just as deep as the root ball, uh, because inevitably you want the crown of the plant to end up right at the soil level. So we're just going <clears> to <throat> tuck this guy in here, kind of spread out the roots, and start moving that soil. And you might have to kind of lift it as you do it, as you bring the soil in to make sure that the crown isn't too low. And then just kind of press down to make sure there's no air holes, but you don't need to like pack it tight. Then another good idea in the fall, especially, but anytime, um, is to mulch around it, but not up tight to the crown. So we're gonna pull back in this mulch that I moved away to dig the hole. And if you get a few leaves in there and stuff, that's fine too. Essentially what you're trying to do is build a layer of protection so that as the temperature changes and you go from freezing to, freezing to thawing, the plant doesn't heave out of the ground. And just a couple inches of mulch around that will help insulate that soil and keep the temperature or keep the soil temperature from fluctuating too fast. Then don't forget to water it in. And you should be good to go until spring. Hi, I'm Kristen Bean Sullivan with Garden Gate Magazine. If you like this video, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll find tips, garden ideas, and how-to help. And be sure and click the bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new video.